For step three in this example, we're going to be placing the rib components. That takes the groups of three points. We're going to basically use one of the loaded adaptive component families. Okay, and just place those adaptive component by points. We're also going to place some adaptive panels. So again, we'll use a loaded adaptive panel family. Those are going to take four placement points and we'll feed in the groups of four points. So let's just come on over and take a look at that. So for the adaptive ribs, you'll see I have loaded an adaptive beam component. Kind of looks like a little bit of an I-beam. It takes three points. So what I'm going to do is basically pull See if I can find them over there. There's my groups of three points right there. And now if I run this, I'll create the different beam elements. They're looking pretty good. For the panels, it's gonna be a very similar operation. I'm gonna basically take this panel, my panel with a resizable opening, and I'm gonna pull that over and place those. Here come the panels, super. And now we're ready. Now this panel actually has some different parameters available to it. If you want to, we can go one step further and start adjusting those parameters. So for example, if for the panels I wanted to change, oh, what do I want to do for the opening there? There's the opening size right there. If I wanted to start changing that value around on a panel by panel basis, I could do that by setting the element parameters by name. So if I set the parameter name opening, it'll go through and change that on a panel by panel basis, which is something we're going to learn to do as we start creating responsive structures.